Good afternoon, my name is Martin Meyer. I'm a neuropsychologist by training and I'm based at Zurich University. Well, now one may wonder uh, why brain researchers have an interest in tinnitus. Meanwhile, we know that tinnitus can be considered um, a hiccup of the brain rather than a disease of the ear. And uh, meanwhile, it has turned out that uh, tinnitus is not only generated but also maintained by the human brain. Auditory areas as well as extra auditory areas uh, configure a large scale network which supports the tinnitus experience. In Zurich, we apply an innovative technique, so called neurofeedback technique, to treat tinnitus. How does this work? Actually, it's uh, an ancient technique um, that has benefited from recent technological advancements. Uh, it's based on operant conditioning. So the patient simply sits in front of a TV screen uh, while we record electrophysiological activity of his brain. Um, the EEG amplifier is connected to a computer and this computer um, guides the um, feedback. Um, we want the brain of the patient to override unwanted activity and to reinforce desired activity, brain activity, and um, this happens more or less automatic. So the patient is not required to do any kind of overt task. He has no manual control, he has no joystick, he simply spots on the video screen uh, where a kind of computer animation takes place. And simply by means of the brain waves, the patient is able to navigate a spaceship through a tunnel, for instance. On the long term, we hope that this will definitely help to elevate tinnitus symptoms. Why do we think that um, this intervention is so beneficial? Well, we made the experience that patients appreciate it because they um, experience the feeling of having control. This is what lots of tinnitus patients complain about, the loss of control. Sometimes they think the tinnitus is louder, sometimes they think it's quieter. Um, it's not always present, it comes and it goes and this appears to be a real torture. By means of neurofeedback, they regain control and this helps them immensely to cope with the problems.